Hey guys, and welcome to episode 11 of How to Be a 3D Animator. This episode, we'll be looking at some top quality rigs that I personally recommend animating with. You could use these rigs for any non-commercial use, and some of the paid ones actually do come with a commercial license. Afterwards, I'll be downloading a new rig I've never used before and making a picker for it. And a picker is essentially a much faster and much easier way to select character controls. And I'll explain exactly what it is and what the benefits are later in this video. Make sure to stick around to the end. Let's get right into this video. So there's currently two artists I really trust getting characters or creature rigs from. The first one being Truong CG artist. I've been following Truong's work since uh, I was a student, and to this day, I use his rigs for my demo reel and practice. Truong has a massive variety of different rigs, ranging from dinosaurs, dragons, humanoids, and balls. Most of his rigs were free, but due to Gumroad's new update, any file bigger than 25 megabytes has to be paid. But uh, Truong very graciously set the price to a low $1, so it's still extremely affordable by well, pretty much anyone, anywhere. And at that price, honestly, it doesn't even compare to the value you're getting. That is, if you're actually committed enough to put the rig to use, uh, either for practice or making stuff for your demo reel. We'll I'll come back to Truong for the last part of this video. The second artist I follow and I trust to use the rigs from is Kiel Figgins. Kiel's rigs are top quality. There's quite a variety of different genres of rigs. The only downside is that the rigs are a bit more on the pricey side. But again, if you're committed to putting the rig to good use, it is definitely worth the purchase. I personally own the Adventure rig and I could not be happier with it. Kiel also has a few free rigs as well. Um, and all you have to do to get them is to smash that like button. I'm kidding. All you have to do is scroll down. And there's a really good quality Spider-Man and Deadpool rig down here. <laughs> Just an extra note, Kiel actually has some guides here on the top of his uh, store page. Right here, you could click these links and there's some guides to how to exactly unload and use these rigs. How to apply the textures because once you do open them, they will be gray most likely. So you just got to repass them and there's a guide here for you guys to follow. I definitely recommend checking these two artists out for some high quality rigs. Now for the second section of this video, the picker. If you guys watched episode 8 of this series, you have seen me quickly show how I use the picker to select controls on my character. A picker is essentially a separate window with all of your character controls flattened out on a 2D surface, making selecting controls and even more specifically groups of controls by a number of magnitude faster, saving you an ungodly amount of time when working for long periods of time. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This right here, I'm just dragging this in. This is the picker. This is what we're going to be creating. I'm going to show you guys how to download, install this, and create your very own picker. Now, the benefit of this is, so here, for example, if I were to, if I wanted to curl the fingers or move the fingers around, the typical way is to, well, go into perspective. So change views. That's a couple steps already. Try and individually well, here's another problem we're running into. Try and individually select the fingers. And let's say I want to curl these two. And then I want to move these ones away. Then I want to move the hand this way. And let's try and figure out where the neck control is and bring the neck a little bit more this way. And then come all the way down move the foot a little bit and meanwhile I can't actually see what my character's pose is looking like so I gotta keep going back be like oh, okay that looks good and then let's say if I wanted to move the controls from the camera perspective so I can see what my character is doing chances of me going in there and trying to select those controls on the fingers and all the little small stuff is let's be serious it's unrealistic <laughs> so instead I can just easily select the fingers right here. On the picker, I just select those, move those that way, and there you go. I want to move the foot, I click on the foot, I move it that way, move the knee, 
move the hip. It's all right here. It's all right here. Move the neck. So I don't actually have to go in and try and find the controls, try and find... I hope you guys understand. And honestly, this saves you an ungodly amount of time, especially when you're working for long periods of time. It just makes life so much easier and it's gone to a point where I refuse to animate a character unless I make a picker for it. So let's go to the website. Okay, so this is the website. The website will be on the, in the description as always. Uh, what you want to do is scroll down, come down to Animpick School Picker, uh, PC version in my case. If you have a Mac, then Mac of course. So click download. Once you've downloaded it, and extracted it, you'll have something like this. So depending on the version of Maya you're running, uh, you select the file that you need. So in my case, 2019. Um, what I'm actually going to do is rename this 2019 underscore picker. And I'm going to copy this file and go to my documents. So once in documents, I'm going to try and find Maya, Maya, and I'm going to paste this here. So 2019 picker, and there's a logo in there as well. And what you need to do is in the extracted file, select anim school picker underscore install. And I don't really think you need the logo since the logo is already in there. So just copy that, paste it in here. And that step is done. Next thing you need to do is in documents, in Maya, in the new picker folder you just created, folder icon to get the file location, copy that. Um, we're gonna go back to the extracted file and we're going to open up Anim School Picker install, the note file. And since we copied the file location of where we pasted the picker, we're going to paste it in here. Let me just replace all of this except the last bit of text. So everything up until Anim School Picker, we're going to replace. Control V. And if you guys notice, the slashes are actually different. We're just going to replace the slashes. So we're going to make them this way. I'm done. So they're all, they all match now. And now we're going to copy this bit of text, control C, open up Maya, click in the bottom right on the com uh, command prompt on the script editor. We're going to make sure Mel is selected, not Python, Mel, control V, the code that we just copied in here. Select and drag everything, middle mouse hold, and drop into our shelf. And now, once we click this button, it should open up Anim School Picker from our new file location. Now, if you want your picker to look like mine, you just gotta right click edit on it, go to shelves, and down here where it says icon preview and icon name. You click the folder button. You go back to documents, Maya, we had it in picker. And we can select the folder that, or the icon that's in there. Open and save all shelves. And there we go. So I had it installed. I just installed the second one. I'm just going to get rid of that. But it's the same process. So now that we have Anim School Picker, Time to show you guys how to exactly make your very own picker. We're going we're going to go back to Truong's website. Hopefully I'm not butchering his name. I feel really bad. So we're going to go back to Truong and I'm actually going to go ahead and download this rig right here. Before I go ahead and do that, I'm actually going to take a screenshot. You guys will understand why later. So I'm going to save that. Okay, let's go ahead and reference our character in.
All right, let's open up Anim Picker. Let's go to Picker, change background, open up the picture we saved. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to turn my controls on and I'm going to show you guys how to start making controls. I'm going to show you guys a few hero controls and then I'll fast forward and show you the final result. But I'll let you know everything you need to know to create what I'm going to create. Let's grab the spines here. Actually, let me, let me show you this first. So I think this is the cog, center of gravity. Yeah, that's the center of gravity. Uh, I have the cog selected. I'm right clicking on the anim picker, add one button. So now we got the small little button. When you select it, it selects the cog, center of gravity. Now I want this to be a little bigger, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the size to 20. And I also want this to be green, so I'm clicking on the color, changing it to be green. And in label, so we're still on the bottom, in label I'm going to press space, space, space. COG, which stands for center of gravity and space 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 and then enter so now that i pressed enter i'm going to click off of the button so clicking on the side it's unselected and now we have this now if you want to move this around as you can see if you just left clicking you can't move it you want to hold control so control left click and you can move this around without selecting anything and then let go of control let go of left click click away and now again when we click this the center of gravity comes up Oops, I actually added an extra letter in there. Delete that, enter. There we go. So now let's say I want to add these three spines without having to select, without having to create one button at a time. So I have the three selected. Right click, add many buttons, and left click. Now let's see which one's which. So this is, they're in the correct order. So I'm going to select them. Hold control, move them here. Hold control, left click drag, move them. I'm still holding control. Now select the top one, hold control, move that a little higher. Just readjusting them by holding control. And there we go. We got these set up. The key thing to keep in mind is that you want to have different colors for each side. So for example, I want the left side of the character to be red, the right side of the character to be blue. Um, we have a visual representation here. Uh, as you can see, the controls on the left side are red. So I'm just going to try and create the same color coordination for the anim picker as well. All right, so that's, that's pretty much all you guys needed to know for now. I'm just going to fast forward and you guys will see the final result. Okay, so the basic pass of making these controls is pretty much done. I just want to talk about an important button to make and that is, well one is the world. You always want to have a world control. Uh, the second is all but no world. So what I'm going to do is select everything and just to make sure I get all the controls, I'm going to do it over here. So I'm going to make sure that uh, Geo is off, selecting Geo is off. Select all the controls and unselect the world. And now add one button and it came pre-named but you want to name it space space all no world that means once you click this button it selects every control in the character except the world button so if you need to animate the world but you need to also set keys on all your controls for the character you just click this you set a key and it won't affect the animation you have on the world so from here, the only other thing I would do is create some finger controls. I'm just going to do that real quick. And actually, here we go. So we got we got the fingers as well. This is pretty much, I'm pretty much done the basic pass here. Um, if I wanted more details, I'll just go in and start selecting all these small little stuff as well. All the stuff for uh, moving the pants and curving the legs and arms and whatnot. But just to get some basic body mechanic, this um, these controls will do. So I have the option to select just the world, everything but the world. And if I want both world and everything, I can just drag select these two. 
And um, again, if I wanted some more detail, I could go in and select all of these. So all the FK controls and add a single button, control click this button and name it right hand F or right, sorry, right arm FK. And now if I select this, the entire right arm gets selected. So yeah, you could just go in and try and make your life easier as much as you possibly can. And so you can make selections, uh, keys that will select certain things, like just the leg or the spine or whatever that will increase the speed of your workflow, essentially. Oh, and I almost forgot. <laughs> if you want to save this so you don't have to keep remaking this, all you have to do is go to File, Save As. And the save type will be nmschoolpicker.pkr. So I'm just going to name this Wukong, the name of the character, and save. And I'm just going to rename tab Wukong body. There we go. And then again, just click save. And that's it. So you, you'll never have to actually redo this again. You just do this once per character and it'll save you an immense amount of time. I keep smacking my table. You'll, it'll save you a lot of time. That's how excited I am. So if you guys need to pause the video and make your controls look like mine or look similar to mine, then you can go ahead and do that now. Aside from that, this video is pretty much done and hopefully you guys learned something from this and hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to smash that like button, hit the sub button, stay notified of future videos, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Happy animating, everyone.